Welcome or uh, welcome back at any help at C Square. In this uh, video clip, we're going to talk about how to use a TI calculator, TI 83 plus, for finding the minimum, maxima, and the roots of a polynomial function. If you notice, I cleared the calculator, which I will suggest you to do it. Then I want you to press the Y equals, like I did, and I type in this polynomial function 2x cubed minus 12x squared minus 192x minus 4. If you want to see uh, the graph of this function, you want to click on this bottom, which says graph. And this is what you get. Very interesting picture. If you remember, we should get something like this. Why? Because the leading coefficient is positive. In this case, it's positive 2. And the uh, um, degree of this polynomial is odd, in this case, 3. We do not see that picture because the window is too small, so I'm going to click this zoom button. And I'm going to zoom out, so number 3. You can click on the keyboard, or you can use this down arrow and choose that number 3. Click a couple times enter and you're going to get something like this, which obviously does not help. The reason we have something like this, the window is too large. If you notice, uh, x being negative 640, x max positive 640, the same for the y's. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to adjust just the x and take a look here. I adjust the x in this way. The x mean negative 10, the x max 20. I kept the y's and I get this picture. Okay. Still, I don't like the picture. I would like to see this bottom part. For that reason, I'm going to adjust this y mean. I'm going to make it negative 1300, which you see it here. And we get what I expected. If you remember, I said left down, right up. And we notice now we have these three points. These are called the intercept x intercepts to be sure, and uh, um, or the roots or the zero of the function. And I'm going to look to the first one, this one. And for that reason, I'm going to click second, trace, which gives me this calc menu. And you already notice I select number two there. You can use the number two on your calculator, or you can use the down arrow menu, and then click enter. Once you do that, you're going to see left bound. In my case, the left bound is 10, which is somewhere here at the left of this uh, x-intercept and then click enter and I'm going to get a right bound. So remember, this was 10. I'm going to click a right bound that is larger than this x-intercept and I set 15. Okay, now you can click something else, but be sure is in this window. After you click enter, the calculator is going to ask you to guess a number, I guess 12. The number that you guess needs to be between the left bound and the right bound. So I guess 12. And then I'm going to click enter. And you get the 0, which is x equals 13.25. If you look to this y, this is 0. It's negative 3 to the times 10 to the power of negative 10. That is the notation the calculate, this calculator is using. Doing a similar approach, you can get the other two zeros, and you'll see them here. The first one is negative 7.23, and you can try using the same process I did for the first one. And you notice y is 0. And the third one is the one right here, uh, negative 0 0.208, and you'll notice y is uh, also 0. So that's the way you find the zeros, the intercepts, x-intercept, or the roots of a polynomial function. On the second part of this uh, clip, I'm going to talk about finding what we call the minimum, the maxima. And let's take a look. You notice again the calculate menu. How do you get there? Second, trace, and that's the calculate menu. And the third one is the minimum. If you remember, the function looks like that, so I'm going to look for this point, the relative minimum. And for finding that, I'm going to do the same thing after I click uh, enter, after I choose the minimum. 
I get the same thing like the zeros left bound. I set five, right? Because this one looks more than five. Then he's going to ask me the right bound. I set 10 because, because this point looks like has an x coordinate less than 10. So go and get the left bound and right bound. And if your guess now is that we are need, we need to guess another number between 5 and 10, you are correct. I said 8. And then I'm going to click enter. In the calculator, the calculator is going to calculate. And you see the minimum is exactly 8. I was lucky when I guessed that 8. Usually you don't. You are not that lucky. So we have a minimum at x equals 8. And the minimum is negative 1,284. Similar, we can get this point, the relative maximum, how it's called. Uh, left bound, right bound, yes. And you should get a maximum at negative 4. And the maximum is... 444. But the last thing I want to show you here, based on this minimum and maximum, now we can write the interval on which this function is increasing and decreasing. It's increasing from here to here on this interval and from here forever, in fact, and the same thing forever down. So how are we going to write that? Negative infinity and this point here, remember, which is the maximum, is at x equals negative 4. So I'm going to have negative 4. And this interval starts from this point, which is the minimum. It happens at 8 and goes forever. Don't forget to union sign. So this is increasing. The function is going up from left to right. When is the function decreasing? The function is decreasing on this point only which happens between the maximum of negative 4 and minimum of 8 if you have more than one interval you're gonna do the same thing like I did for here use the union sign I hope you enjoyed this video clip and come back on C squared for more help thank you